Hi folks, Reverend Isaac here. So this week it is, it is in the United Church of Canada, uh, Indigenous Day of Prayer. It's also Father's Day. We just have one of the worst Father's Day readings uh, possible in, from the book of Genesis in the lectionary this week, talking about Abraham. Abraham has some of the worst dad moments in the Bible, almost sacrifices his son Isaac. And in this story, he sends his son Ishmael and Ishmael's mom out into the wilderness to fend for themselves. Let's not focus too much on Abraham though. Let's look at um, Hagar and Ishmael out in the wilderness because Hagar is there caring for him and, and is, offers that leadership to her son. But she gets to a point where she is distraught because she realizes that they're at the end of their resources and she is scared for the life of her son. And while she still protects him, she is trying to figure out what to do and she calls out to God and God responds and even in her distress helps to open her eyes to a resource that is there in water and then they are able to continue on and to thrive into the future. Now I think of Hagar as this leader uh, within this small duo, but I also want us to be thinking about our leaders in our, our church community right now. We have a lot of amazing volunteer leaders. Uh, sometimes I prefer to use the, the word um, disciples, but I just want to underline in terms of our volunteer leaders. In this past week, folks who are working on um, a reader's theater presentation, who are on um, an interview committee, and um, who were meeting for other different groups like our spiritual life, figuring out how we're going to reopen worship back in the, once we're back in the fall. We have some amazing volunteer ministers in our midst in terms of Reverend Katie and on this Father's Day, my Reverend Dad and uh, Pastor Ian has done some phone visiting for us while we have been um, on, uh, when I've been away uh, over the last uh, while as well. So, so we are so blessed. And so what I'd like to invite you to do is to make sure that you're keeping these these volunteer leaders in your prayers as as we move through this time because um, we realize that probably for each one of us um, no matter what walk of life we're in right now it can feel like we're a bit like Hagar and Ishmael out in the wilderness trying to figure out a whole new landscape often feeling more isolated than we normally would and so it's so important for us to keep one another in prayer. And there are all kinds of different ways that people offer leadership in our communities of faith. But let's keep these folks in our prayers, uh, specifically right now. Um, let's first of all just give thanks for what they are doing because we are so blessed to have that leadership that is there. And then let's also ask that there can be that opportunity to be able to find the resources that each one of those, those leaders needs um, to be able to continue to make this journey. Each one of us has our moments where we feel like Hagar and Ishmael in the wilderness and each one of us needs those moments where we can call out to God and have that sense that God is pointing us in the direction where we can be refreshed, where we can find that source of life. And so let's pray that for one another, no matter what role we have in the church. We can trust in the God who is the one who blesses us, who renews us, and leads us forward to find new ways of thriving, even if those ways will be very different from what we're used to. Uh, this week, because it is the Indigenous Day of Prayer, I was looking at some of the resources that were uh, on the United Church of Canada website, and uh, there's a beautiful prayer of renewal, of uh, reconnecting with creation, and then also um, giving us the sense that whether we're together or we're alone, that God is there with us. So I'm going to invite you to pray this prayer uh, with me in this moment now. So let's pray these words together. Let us give thanks to our Creator, for the Creator is always with us. God is with us in the call of a loon and in the flight of an eagle. Our Creator is with us in the changing of the seasons. God is with us when we gather together and when we are alone. 
Our Creator is with us in our giftedness and in our search for new understandings of ourselves, new visions of our communities. Let us give thanks to God, our Creator. Amen.